The Hopi Indians of the Southwest have a story known as the Cuscarza, the Third World Epoch. West, Frank Waters, 1902-1995, a great American writer has conserved this story in his excellent book of the Hopi and brings us a tale during the Third World Epoch as the Hopi witnessed flying shields called Pachavatas, which soared through the skies. There are stories and stories, there are the songs, also, that are taught. Some are whimsical. Some are very intense. Some are documentary. Everything I have known is through teachings, by word, by word of mouth, either by song or by legends. Said Terence Hanvantiwa, Hopi. The Pachavatas are similar to our modern jet fighters were often attacking the cities, causing destruction and killing people on the ground. They were able to perform an attack and leave the target place so rapidly that the people of the city did not even have time to figure out from which direction their enemies appeared. Other civilizations began to manufacture Pachavatas and soon a war broke out. And so the Third World Epoch was brought to an end, because corruption and destruction came to the Third World people, as it had come to those who were before. The Hopi Indians have endless stories to tell about our ancient past, but unfortunately, Many of these important prehistoric events have never been presented in other form than oral, from one generation to another. For example, a red city that was destroyed by terrible sky weapons. It happened long before the Hopi's existence. The Hopis call this special place Palat Kwapi, meaning legendary red city of the south. No one knew where Palat Kwapi might have been located, but some of the Hopi believe that Palenque, in Chiapas known as the center of the Mayan Old Empire, Mexico was the legendary Red City, destroyed by an immense flood. Some scholars suggest that a place where at least a clan could have migrated was located possibly as far as South America. However, it must have been a very long time ago. The stories told by the Hopi Indians are confirmed by legends and sacred texts of other cultures. The people of Central America tell for example about how the gods destroyed the earth by using a weapon that was as hot as the sun and the sacred book of the Mayas, the Popolva is another excellent source, which provides plenty of valuable information about our ancient sky visitors and all their earthly activities. The Popolva describes an event very similar to what happened in the biblical cities Sodom and Gomorrah. This work tells about a raising sun, of which heat was unbearable. The heat was so intense that people turned into stone. 